I've been fishing now, I would say, round about 64 years, since I was six years old. It was uh, my friend, his father, was a real, you know, good fisherman, and he had a boat on uh, the Norfolk Broads, and I used to go for holidays on the boat with him, and fishing all over the place. And, that was it, I've, and I've been fishing ever since. I look at the place, I mean most places I go fishing I will know, and usually I'll go and I set up usually reasonably light, you know, with a 16 hook and using a couple of maggots and start feeding and feeding and you get the little fish come on and then the bigger fish seem to come on and start bullying the big fish, the little fish away and you start getting bigger fish and then usually I up my tackle I'll go to a little bit more extreme tackle otherwise you uh, tend to lose them in the, uh, the lilies and the weeds. To illness and that, uh, you know, my fishing is taking a, a bit of a back burner, but it's only now that I'm getting back into it. This year I've joined local clubs and uh, I should be doing some river fishing this year, and quite a lot of river fishing. So, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Fishing has changed a hell of a lot since I first started fishing. When I first started fishing, for a, a normal person to go and catch a carp was was unheard of. You know, it was only very, very you know, high-priced syndicates that used to have any carp in their waters. But uh, nowadays, due to all the commercial fisheries, uh, people can fish carp all the time. You know, but they've got to pay for it. It's, uh, but uh, yeah, fishing has definitely changed over the years. Um, pole fishing is getting more fish now, especially on matches. But I, I mean, I've got poles, but I still prefer the rod and reel. What do I enjoy about fishing? Some people say it's relaxing. It is relaxing. You can sit there, you can put a rod out and you can just sit down and relax and you can have an optonic to tell you when you've got a bite. But it's very rare I do that. You know, I like my float fishing and you've got to be there. If that float goes under, you've got to be there. Otherwise, you've, you, you've lost the fish. With, with most carp fishing, uh, you know, the carp catch themselves. The way the way the rigs are is they catch themselves, they run, and the optonics goes off and tells you, you you've got a fish. Uh, I did get into that for a while, but I soon I soon decided no, I went back to my rod and reel and float fishing. No, I do like that. The feeling when you catch a fish, I think it, it, it's nice. I mean, I, I joined a local club, Abbott's Ripton, and I went there, and the first fish I ever caught was a little four-inch gudgeon. But I was so pleased with that, because I hadn't caught a gudgeon for years. I mean, on the rivers, we're hardly catching any gudgeon. You know, and it was uh, the fact that I caught it in a lake, it, it, it was, yeah, good. But then again, when you like like fishing like I do, you normally end up getting one or two good fish on and you've got to play them. You've got light tackle, you can't just haul them in like you know the big carp boys do, you've got to do it very very gently. Let the line run when they go in, go with them, try and wear them down and keep them out of the weeds. Uh, I've, I've I've done all, all manner of fishing and 
I can't say there's one that I really dislike, but my favourite is still flow fishing with a rod and reel.